Alright, so we're out prospecting again today. We're at a new location. We've never been here before. We're just scouting for new properties right now. So uh, what we found is we found a small little vein here on a piece of rock. And uh, we're going to see if it's an isolated small little vein uh, or if it's anything that's worthwhile. So you can see small little vein uh, looks like it's sulfides looks like it's primarily pyrite and calcopyrite more calcopyrite than uh, pyrite it's definitely fine grain and uh, there's a couple other smaller pieces that we found around here so we're going to see if we can locate the source All right, so we got more here. It's a nice heavy sample. This is about 30 pounds. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break some of this stuff and we're gonna take a sample, uh, record the GPS location, and then we're gonna see if we can find the, the main vein or if there is a vein. And then we'll go from there. If it's a good grade, we'll Maybe look into this property a bit further. Alright, so here's another piece that we found. And there's a couple more pieces here. So we'll uh, we'll see if we can get a few kilograms of this and send that in and See what the assay says. All right, so about 10 meters away, we found another uh, few pieces that we are going to send in as well. We're going to most likely do a geochemical sampling program and uh, do a detailed one and try and isolate uh, where the source is. And uh, hopefully, this is some decent material here and if it stays well we'll go ahead with the program a little bit of quartz in there Nice big vein through there. So we'll keep searching, see what we can find for now, and then uh, hopefully this turns out to be good material. All right, so we're about 50 meters away from where we found our last sample. There's still more. So we're probably just gonna after we find out the results, we're going to stake this claim if it's anything half decent and uh, we'll do a geochemical program. Alright, so we have another outcrop here. It's pretty heavily oxidized. Uh, there's a couple small little stringer veins of sulfide. Uh, looks like it's the same calcopyrite and some pyrite in there. So uh, we're going to see if there's anything worthwhile pulling off of here. And if so, we'll send that in as well. We do have some quartz in there. Okay, so here's another little grab sample that we found. It's got some more uh, mineralization on that. See, there is a bit of mineral in there. And we have a quartz vein here. Doesn't look like there's too much mineral in it, but you do have some oxidization, so uh, that is leaching out of somewhere. We'll see what else we can find. Alright, so we got a lot more uh, outcrop here to take a look at. A lot more oxidized rock. You 
see some sulfides in that rock right down there. Got some sulfides on there. Nothing's jumping out at me for uh, substantial vein wise, um, just by first glance, but we'll poke around a little more. See what we can find a nice quartz vein right there. Oh, it looks like there's some sulfides in there. Maybe we'll hammer away at this and see if we can pull off a decent sample. Looks like it widens up here, the quartz vein. There's some sulfides in there. So yeah, we'll pull a sample up here, I guess, and uh, maybe we'll take one across this whole outcrop and uh, send that in as a, a single sample. All right, so we've been finding multiple uh, outcrops with uh, small little stringers of sulfides, and uh, your rock is very oxidized with some uh, pyrite found as disseminations as well. Uh, what we were after when we came out here, we were actually looking for rhodonite and manganese. So um, this is a nice surprise. And if the assay results are good, we will uh, stake this claim and uh, we'll do a geochemical sampling program and uh, among other things. And stay tuned for that. Hope everyone enjoyed the video, and there's more to come, so thanks for watching. Have a good day, everyone.